Happy New Year and welcome back to the podcast. Today we have another reflection by Father McCarthy, something to think about in the new year. He intended for a clip from Real Time with Bill Maher to run at the end of this reflection. I was not able to import that into the podcast due to copyright issues. So if you're watching this on YouTube, just be sure to look at the screen at the end of the reflection and uh, the videos will pop up on the screen and you should be able to click there and go watch the video that he intended for you to see at the end of his reflection. And if you're not on YouTube and you're listening to this, at the end of the reflection, just be sure to look in the description notes, in the podcast notes, and there will be a link to the video that Father McCarthy intended for you to watch at the end of his reflection. So I hope it provides some good food for thought, and I'll see you soon. In 1865, the American poet William Ross Wallace wrote a poem in praise of motherhood. The refrain of the poem was the sentence, The hand that rocks the cradle is the hand that rules the world. In the first half of the 20th century, the adage, which could be heard in graduate school classes and universities, or in the boardrooms in Wall Street, he who controls the teachers' colleges controls the future, was commonplace. It was, it was one of those things that simply was in the air. Well, I believe it was Jonathan Cazol, <clears throat> the ex officio grandfather of the U.S. home schooling education movement, who insisted that Government control of the content and the methodology of education in public schools was a way of channeling students into a future that primarily served the interest of the elites. As insightful as these thoughts were in their time, their roots go back as far as Plato, who taught The direction in which education starts a person will determine his future life. The powers that be know this. The powers that be politically, economically. And so it is that today, in the first world, Childhood education takes place in large part via mass media communication platforms. For example, films, television, the internet, Twitter, Facebook, TikTok, etc. You know, just 37 years ago, there were 50 companies in the United States in charge of most of the American media. Today, 90% of the media in the United States is controlled by just six corporations. ATT, CBS, Comcast, Disney, News Corp, and Viacom. This means, this means that approximately 230 media executives are calling the shots for the ma- for the vast majority of the information adults are presented and for what is placed before children and embedded in their brains. If, as Plato wrote, the direction in which education starts a person will determine his future life, then practically every child's mind is putty in the hands of the wheelers and dealers who clawed their way to the top 
of the communication media industry. Now, every Christian parent, every Christian educational institution, every Christian church, every church leader is commissioned explicitly by Jesus in Matthew 28, 19 to 20, to teach every baptized child, every baptized person, to obey all that I have commanded you. He couldn't be clearer. This, at a bare minimum, means that Christian parents, Christian institutions, Christian church leaders, Christian churches are commissioned to teach the baptized children in their spiritual care to obey Jesus' new commandment, to love one another as I have loved you. For example, to teach by word and deed the baptized child to love your enemies as Jesus loved his enemies is, is strictly in line with teaching the child to obey all that Jesus has commanded, with teaching the child to obey Jesus' commandment to love one another as I have loved you. For he loved his enemies even unto death. And we are called to love as he loves. And since this new commandment of Jesus is the only new commandment he reveals to humanity, and since as the Catholic Church teaches in its catechism that this new commandment, quote, contains the entire moral law of the gospel and, quote, summarizes the will of the Father, which is to be done on earth as it is in heaven, it self-evidently requires that those responsible for teaching a baptized child to obey all that Jesus has commanded that they do and use those means that are reason, reasonably commensurate with fulfilling this divine obligation. So, whether you be a pope, a bishop, a priest, a minister, or a parent, in this new year, of A.D. 2023, ask yourself in conscience and before God what realistic and authentic steps and actions you must take to truthfully and effectively nurture the mind of Christ in the child or children for whom you are responsible. To do this in the light of the video which will play at the end of my presentation. What can you do to effectively protect soul in spirit of the child for whom you have spiritual responsibility from the systematic evil and from the systemic spirit of evil that is exposed in this little eight-minute video that I am going to play. Obviously, infinitely more needs to be done by all, at all levels of the church, 
who have been entrusted by Jesus with the spiritual responsibility of caring for, guarding, and guiding the souls of the little ones. There is, there is no greater spiritual pandemic racing across humanity than the pandemic of evil, gross, ugly, grave, intrinsic evil that is being spread by mass media and those who control it spread not just nation to nation, but mind to mind, toddler mind to toddler mind. Consider this video and ask yourself if you are a Christian parent, a pope, a bishop, a priest, Minister, what is my responsibility in 2023 AD in light of this enormous and grotesque evil that is eating away at the minds and the hearts of children and therefore tearing not only the present apart, but guaranteeing a future of terrible evil and destruction.